Are you ready for revival? Are you ready for revival? Are you ready for revolution? What's going on, God's people? How y'all doing this morning? Wow. Is that God's people? I said, what's going on, God's people? How y'all doing this morning? Yeah. Listen, 2013, I believe that this is the year that we are going to see the promise of God being fulfilled in our lives. Amen? Not too long ago, uh, my wife and I found out that we were having a baby, not another baby, when we first got pregnant with the first baby. And um, my friend told me that when you get pregnant, the husbands sometimes go through something called sympathy pains. Y'all ever heard of this, fellas? Amen. Any husbands? Okay, well, let me explain. For y'all don't know who, what sympathy pains is, Sympathy pains is when the wife is pregnant, but sometimes the husband experiences some of the same things. Now, I'm thinking to myself, I'm a grown man. There's nowhere in the world I'm going to throw up because she's pregnant. It's not happening. How is she pregnant? And I'm going to feel sick, right? Till about 3 o'clock one morning, uh, my stomach, it was either my stomach or the Holy Spirit told me to wake up. And uh, I was starving. And I look at my wife, and she was asleep. I said, babe, wake up. You hungry? And she said, no, nah, nah, I'm kind of asleep. I said, well, I feel like the Lord is telling me to go to Whataburger, amen. <laughs> so she said, well, praise the Lord, be obedient. I said, I will. I'm so thankful for Whataburger because it's the only place you can go 24-7 and get a great meal. That's another sermon. So listen, I get in the car, and I'm driving, and I pull up to Whataburger, and I get to the window. She says, welcome to Whataburger. May I place your order? And I said, yes, praise the Lord. Listen, um, I'm pregnant, so I need a number two. I need a number two with cheese. And for the drink, I would like to have a Coke. And she says, okay, I can do that. And I pull around to the window. And when I get to the window, uh, she gives me my food. And then I drive off. And by the time I hit the street, my food is gone. Don't judge me. I was pregnant. So the Lord said to me, wasn't that amazing? I said, yes, Lord. That was the most amazing burger I have ever had in my life. He said, no, 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 you're missing it. I said, well, what is it? He said, you had a desire for something. And all you did was open your mouth and speak it. God's people, I really believe that in 2013 that if we open our mouths and all we have to do is speak what we want, we will get it and be excited. So this year in 2013, I want to challenge you to speak life into your situation. Amen. This song I want to do for you today is called Life. Amen. Whenever you're ready. There's a story in the Bible about a man named Ezekiel, and he was in the valley of dry bones. And God asked Ezekiel, can these dry bones live again? And Ezekiel said, God, only you know. So God told him to speak life into those bones, and those bones arose into an army. So I speak life to this church today. Let's go get them. Life. Yes. I speak life in the valley of these dry bones. I speak life in the valley of these dry bones. Life. I speak life in the valley of these dry bones. In the valley of these dry bones. Listen. I speak life to the prostitute up on the corner, selling her body for money, cocaine, and marijuana. I speak life to that young boy all alone, holding a loaded pistol closely to his dome. And I speak life to that girl that's overlooked every day. She cuts away the pain by using a blade and life to the bones of crack fiends and dope slangers. Life to single parents' homes and gang bangers. I speak life to the mother that's praying for that child and life to that child that's running the street wild. Life to the father that walked out on his kids and life to those kids that seen their daddy split. Life to the one that's in the jail cell. Holding his head crying, hoping that he makes bail. And life to the parents that just lost their son. But if you live by the gun, you die by the gun. Life. Yeah. I speak life in the valley of these dry bones. Yeah. I speak life in the valley of these dry bones. I speak life. I speak life in the valley of these dry bones. In the valley of these dry bones I speak life to the one that has been molested and raped Struggling day to day trying to keep the pain away And life to that wife that gets beat every night And life to the husband that's stuck on the pipe 
I'm not Ezekiel, but there's a battle to be won. And I know that we gon' make it, cause there's power in the tongue. By authority in he, which has now been placed in me, I speak life to this church and life to those streets. The situation that you facing may seem to be dead, but with Jesus Christ comes new life, arise and move ahead. This life that you live in may seem to be dry, but try to speak life and watch rain crack the sky. All of those things that Satan took away, you have the ability to bring them from the grave. But if you choose not to eat from the fruit of this tree, I speak life to me so the whole world can see life. Yes, Lord. <laughs> I speak life in the valley of these dry bones. Hallelujah, Jesus. I speak life in the valley of these dry bones. Life. Praise God in this place. I speak life in the valley of these dry bones. If you're in this place today and you say 2013, I'm going to go get back everything the enemy took from me. Stand to your feet in this place and say this with me. Say, let's go get them. Say, let's go get them. Say 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 I'll 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 go get them. Say let's go get them. Say let's go get them. Say I'll go get them. I'll go get them. Life. Somebody praise God in this place. Are you ready for revival? Are you ready for revival?